When we first decided that on this season of Restaurant Road Trip, we were gonna do New Haven County, so many people said, you gotta try home in Brantford. From the homemade mac and cheese, the homemade gnocchi, the homemade borsen and cheese, this place really makes you feel like you're at home. I can't wait to get in here because nothing makes me feel more comfortable than being at home. Let's uh, go home right now in Brantford. Jared, pleasure to meet you, man. Thanks yeah, for having nice us in here. Thanks man. for coming. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. It really is very comfortable in here, right? Thank you. And you got a great crowd right now. It, it, it's nice. Thank you. It's nice. I love the pictures on the wall. Appreciate it. So it's a local artist that did them. They're all oh, wow. photographs. She did them right in her backyard. Well, you're big on supporting everything local here in Brantford, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Talk about the restaurant, where the idea come from, how long yeah. we've been here, all the info. Um, so the whole general theme behind it is comfort. I've been in the business since I was 14 years old, almost 26 years now. Yeah. Everyone has always said that I was able to make people feel comfortable and almost feel at home. It's just basically built off of comfort, um, home cooked food with a twist on it. Everything's made in house. Um, if it's not made in house, we buy it locally. It's kind of cool to see all this stuff being locally produced here. Absolutely. I mean, our little state's pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. A very family thing you've got going on here too. Absolutely. Your dad's at the bar, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I can't control him, but if he screws up, I just call mom and she takes care of it. <laughs> I, love, I love that. Uh, let's just talk about the menu for a second. You said it's very like like a home style, like make you feel like good inside here, nice Absolutely. and warm. I like to call it almost extreme comfort food okay. with a twist. Um, you know, a lot of different things that you would normally grow up eating with different twists on it. Right. Um, you're gonna try later the home burger, which can't wait. Homemade boards and cheese on it, and just a different twist on a cheeseburger. Bacon I like cheeseburger. all these things. Everything you really make in house. Everything is made from scratch That's for the most part. Fantastic. Yeah. You do so much good stuff here in the community as the restaurant. Uh, yeah, the community's really kind of embraced you. Talk about that for a little bit here before I get back there and get yeah, busy. Yeah, I mean, I, I've always felt as a small business that it's important to take care of the community who takes care of us. We try to be as involved in the local charities as possible as well. Yeah. Brantford is a great community and uh, they really, really support their own, which has been great. That's fantastic, man. I love to hear that. This is very comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate like it's, that. It's very comfortable. That's, That's the nice. idea. All right, let me get in this kitchen and talk to the chef. plenty of food for you. Uh, you're awesome, brother. I look Thank forward you, to seeing what we've got yeah, going on, all right? Absolutely. Excellent, brother. Thank you. Lauren, pleasure to meet you. I'm yeah. so excited to be hanging out with you right now. Uh, this is hot. Did you know that? Very hot. <laughs> I mean, literally, I think I'm, I'm getting first degree burns here. Uh, what are we making? Uh, we are making the home burger. Um, it's like our signature burger. It's delicious. Okay. Um, so a little salt and pepper on the burger. Right now, I'll do it. Okay. Right now. Salt and pepper, I'll hold up. They like when I do it up high I like, like that. that, yeah. Solid. While that is marking, we're gonna heat up the mushrooms and the onion jam. Oh, the onion jam is vinegar, sugar, sweet and sour. Okay. And then these are just roasted mushrooms. You could chuck those in too. All right, here we go. So we got onions, we got our mushrooms, we got burgers working, we got medium rare plum arm. What else we got? We got bacon, two strips of bacon. What do you normally cook these burgers to in house? Like if no one gets the temperature, just medium? I prefer medium rare. Okay. They're CAB burgers, so it's really good meat. Excellent. Well, <laughs> that's a delicious burger. If you're gonna get a burger, you might as well make it awesome. And you can always tell burgers are ready to flip or move but it doesn't stick like this. But what I'm gonna do is, Chef, tell me if I'm wrong, you can hate me for it. I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. Nice hash marks. But I guess it's a hashtag. Hashtag burger cooking. So we got our, our onions and our mushrooms right here. Yeah, that's super low, so you can kind of just leave those. All right, our burger's working hard right here. I think I'm gonna flip this guy. Hashtag burger marks. <laughs> Let's see Hash, all right, all right. And then we have this borsen. What is this? This is a homemade borsen. Homemade borsen? Yeah. Like cheese? Cheese, yeah. Beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this burger, so, because yeah. I'm good with that. You're just gonna put the okay. burger right on top. All right, let's go. Onion, jam, mushroom, and then the bacon, just a little cross yep. action. That's it. Let's check this burger out, are you kidding me? Amazing, I can't wait to put that in my mouth. Chef, I love burgers, but we're making gnocchi now? Gnocchi, yeah. Let's talk about it, what are we making? All right, cool, so we're uh, rendering a little bit of maple steak sausage that we make in house. Rendering means taking that fat out of it so we get that lovely a little, little- Yeah, 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 love that crispy and get that delicious fat on the, in the pan, right? Yeah. Excellent, count me uh, in. And then while we're doing that, we're just gonna flash the gnocchi really quick. And you make these in house, right? Yeah, it's potato and ricotta, so it's a little lighter. And what? Uh, ricotta. Is, did you say, but you didn't call it ricotta. I did what not. What did you call it? I called it ricotta. It's not a word. Uh, should I drop this down now, Chef, or uh, not? Yeah, you can drop it down. All right. So that just needs like 30 seconds. It's already cooked. We okay. can't it. Um, it's probably about ready to come go. in. You want to go right in the pan? Yeah, right in the pan. Right in the pan. Right in the pan. 
What do we got? Uh, tomato, chopped tomatoes, okay. and some blanched chops of asparagus. Right in. Right in. This is a uh, roasted pepper cream sauce. There we go. Is there a little regat in there? There is not. I just wasn't sure if you <laughs> forgot the regat. And we're gonna finish it with cheese. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm getting it on the rim of the plate. I'm a piece of garbage, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's what towels are for. A little panko on top. Yes, sir. And then this is all gluten-free as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Check that dish out right here. I can't wait to eat this, Chef. It looks, looks fantastic, looks delicious. Pick up for me. All right, you guys are my new best friends because this food looks delicious. Buffalo mac and cheese, burgers, and cocktails. Can we start with this one? What are we drinking here, friends? Uh, so that's our Fig Cosmo. It is house-infused Fig vodka, a little Ooh. fresh juice. Have you tried this? It's very good. That's really tasty. I just thought about chugging that, but I'm not gonna do that. And then what do we have here? So this is called the Indian Neck Lemonade. It is a lemonade cocktail with one of the local restaurants in town. So this is a maple bourbon from Bridgeport, Connecticut, poured over the Lenny's Lemonade. Wow. It's a good thing I'm already at home. I think we should try the Buffalo Mac first. Oh, let's do it. Buffalo Mac. Let me get in here. So it's a cheddar-based cheese sauce, um, hot sauce, chicken tenders, and a little bit of crumble blue on top. Super simple, but it's really good. I want to sing a song right now. You are so beautiful. People are watching. It's now. beautiful. Sorry. This is incredible. This is so delicious. The buffalo is not too spicy. The blue cheese comes out really beautifully in this. And somehow or another, Chef, you've managed to keep the crispiness of the chicken. This is great right here. I love this. And it's all homemade. What else we got here? There's a burger right here. It looks delicious. So this is the home burger. I was uh, very excited about the borscht and cheese in this. Let me get in here. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Wow. The bacon and the borscht and cheese together. Are you kidding me? This is the kind of food that would just make me feel happy. Right? That's the point. Is that the idea? Absolutely. This burger right here, that's where it's at. We got a little uh, Noki's over here. Let's talk about this, because we got some great shots of your guy in the back making this. Yep. Uh, who has been making these Noki's for a long time, right? Yep. Yeah, this is his recipe. What I think the star of this plate is, is this breadcrumb topping. So it's a roasted red pepper cream sauce, and then tomatoes, asparagus, and a homemade uh, maple sage sausage. You make the sausage in-house. Mm -hmm. It truly does feel like I'm kind of home, and I'm comfortable, and I just kind of I don't know, kick back and enjoy it and, you know, I mean, eat this kind of food. Take a nap. It's delicious. <laughs> chef, thank you so much. Thank you. Great I job. Had fun. Thank you, Great. Chef. Thank you so much, yeah. man. Thank you. This stuff is awesome. So my favorite dish, personally, for appetizer is the general style Brussels sprouts. And then I actually get something that's not even on the menu is a buffalo chicken taco because it's the best food that I ever had in my life. And I literally probably get it three to four times a week. Plum, plum, wake him up. Ah, what, what, what? It's just, what? What are you doing? It's just so comfy. I've been, you know, like I'm at home. You have my shoes on. It's comfortable. It feels like, it's at home. Mm. 